Last day in Vung Tao. Last day in Vung Tao. And we're going to Fuqua. Yeah. Fuqua is supposed to be the most beautiful place in Vietnam. Yes. Uh, I don't know if it'll be a retired cheap place. I um, don't think so. <laughs> no? Chung Hoi found us another luxury um, minivan. Oh. Chung Hoi asked the hotel to book it and it's okay. 175 which is like $7.50 from our hotel direct to the airport in Ho Chi Minh. And from there we fly to Phu Qua, which takes about an hour, hour 15 minutes on an island. Um, so we're in the air going to Phu Qua. Phu Qua. We just realized that we haven't been on a, on a flight uh, since we flew from Thailand to Hanoi, Hanoi in Vietnam. It's down here, Vagabond Awake. We are in Phu Qua. Um, Vietnam. It's an island um, across from uh, Thailand in Vietnam uh, and it's south of Cambodia. Anyway, I thought I'd show you where we're staying. It's a very rural uh, little place in the jungle and we we uh, got typical, got the motorcycle for a hundred dong a day which is like four dollars and fifty cents and we got a one-bedroom apartment that's right here. This is the entryway. And all that laundry, Chung Hoi's drying laundry, but there's the, yeah, there's the kitchen area and it has um, like a refrigerator, a cooktop, tons of water, silverware, pots and pans, and there's a, a hot water boiler for coffee. There's room for my laptop and monitor. There's room for chunk boys, two tables, and not much of pretty simple, but exactly what we need. And we, of course, we bring our uh, mosquito net everywhere. And uh, we saw a few mosquitoes, so we put up the mosquito net. There's a little area there for chunk boy to work, put her makeup on and stuff. And it, there's a washer and dryer a couple doors down. And there's a little um, dresser here. And the whole thing is $16 uh, dollars a night. That's what we're playing. It's a typical Vietnamese bathroom, toilet, um, shower, and everything. So we're here about, I think it's about eight, nine days. So. Oh, yeah, about 12 days. 12 days? Yeah. Oh, cool. Um, and so we're, we're loving it. Uh, we have a kitchen again, and we're starting to make some nice salads and stuff. So, all right. Uh, there's AC and fans. and. Uh, so, it feels good to be kind of in the country again instead of the big cities. Yeah. You like it? Oh, I love it because you will not have the noise of the car. Vroom, vroom, vroom. That's a very quiet. Honky. Yeah, yes. very quiet lane. And in the night here, it's very chill. Yeah. And in the morning also. Yeah. yeah we hear a few roosters, some barking dogs, but there's no construction going on around us right now, which is yes. nice. Fuqua is growing very rapidly, so down near the beach, the really expensive places, there's a lot of construction going on. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of hard, but up here in the cheap seats, it's really easy. It's not really the cheap. What is it, 15, 16 a night? No, actually this one, it should be 19 a night. 19, okay. You was having a discount. Okay. Yeah, so it's become 16. Did we ask for a discount? No, the discount is from your... Uh, oh, yes, yeah, yeah, I have a... Uh, I got a discount because some people use my link on the web page to get Airbnb apartments and I get a little, I have a discount. So you have to say, thank yeah. you so much for using the link, so oh, we yeah. have some benefit from this, so <laughs> we can show you everything. Yeah, exactly. So anyway, uh, Fuqua is amazing and beautiful, you'll be seeing all our videos about it. So. Oh yes. Alright. Yes. This video shows you where to live and eat cheap while in Fuqua, Vietnam. But don't take notes, click more information below for written details of everything cheap and fun to do here. Plus grab a free copy of my ebook, How to Fire Your Boss and Travel the World. Okay. Tell me what I found this place online. It's 30,000 they say. Yeah. This is so good.
So bulk dishes were 45k, which is like a dollar, uh, almost two dollars, like a dollar ninety-five. We're gonna take them home and eat them. We'll let you know. So then you'll see the flaw on my birthday, huh? So <laughs> once a year, whether it needs it or not. And then and clean the dishes, huh? No, let me clean it. You see? Such a good day. John Hoy's birthday today. No. It's not your birthday? No. Oh. Someone lied on your driver's license. And, and your passport. passport. And your birth certificate. Yes. All the lies? Yes. Oh. Someone's your birthday. It's Cheng Hui's birthday today, so we're breaking all of the rules. Instead of trying to eat cheaply as we normally do to show cost of living on the low side, uh, we are going to the nicest restaurant in town here um, and having a nice dinner to celebrate her birthday. The restaurant has um, music playing in the background, which is likely copyrighted to avoid an infringement accusation we're playing um, our own music here and I'm doing a voiceover so that you can't hear the music they're playing. The first course they brought us some bread and olive oil and balsamic and some olive compost. Here's the first course. <laughs> is pasta arriata, which is a spicy marinara pasta, if you're unaware. Mm -hmm. Hey, our team wins. Third course is here. It's a quattro cheese. Cheese. <laughs> Fromage or whatever. visit to Sri Fuqua. La Resis to Sri Fuqua? Yeah, that's the name of the place we're at, this beach resort. I think we were coming back here. Yeah, yeah we enjoyed it the first time. So oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's better, better, nice. The chair is free? The chair is free, yeah. You just have to buy, buy their drink and food. Yeah, the beer is 40 dong. It's about... Uh, $1.75. $1.75. Yeah. Look at the view. $5, including 2 chairs, 
the chair is free, so only we pay for the beer. And they have music, they have toilet, very clean toilet, you can shower inside. And they have a good restaurant, we haven't tried any food over there. We only come uh, that side for sunset. So I can't wait for my food. Oh, so hungry. Because you have to eat seafood in Fukuo. Yeah, it's, I think they'll check you when you try to leave the country. If you don't have receipts for seafood, you know, they may not let you leave. They will check your Fukuo as well. Huh? There's no seafood inside Of course, Fuku. of course. They check the Fukuo. <laughs> so Chung Hoi's first dish arrived. This is an egg and oyster. Do you know how much it was? Twenty-five. Twenty-five. One dollar and five cents. Yeah. And oysters. Yeah. It's good. It's good. So we'll put it on the list. The restaurant list. Any food we like, either of us like, to put on the restaurant list. Somewhere selfish. It looks so interesting. Okay. We're gonna put this place on the list. I'll, so this place is like tapas. You, you ordered two that look good to you, and they were about a dollar each. Yes, a dollar. So it's like Vietnam's version of tapas. When you come to visit the, the southern town, I think it's pronounced An Doi. Um, which is where the harbor is we just showed you and the temple. You have to eat at this vegetarian restaurant. It's 20k dollars. It's less than one dollar. Less than a dollar per person. It's really good. Did you like? Yes. So John's tours here, they'll transfer you from Phu Phua, uh, to the mainland and then over to Kep, Cambodia. as $18 per person. And while you're at the border, they'll wait for you as you complete your application process. And then take you the rest of the way to Kep. Kep is going to be the first stop on our tour of Cambodia. She blows 800,000 dong like it's going out of, like money's going out of style. We're going to Cambodia. 800,000 dong is like $36. This is Dan of Vagabond Buddha. Hey, if you're enjoying this video, could you please like it, subscribe, or comment? Any of those things would help our business. We'd really appreciate it. Thanks so much. We, we write reports about the best places in the world to retire cheap. Come on over to Vagabond Buddha and check us out. Just click the link below this video. Come to Vagabond Buddha, see what, see what the sort of services and prices we have. Thanks so much.